Osteoporosis is a condition that causes bones to become thin and porous, decreasing bone strength and leading to increased risk of breaking a bone. Peak bone mass is achieved at around 20 years of age for women and 25 for men, so building strong bones during childhood and adolescence can be the best defense against developing osteoporosis. The most common sites of osteoporotic factors are the wrist, spine, shoulder, and hip. Osteoporosis is known as a silent thief, as bones can deteriorate over a number of years without any signs or symptoms. Let's go ahead now and take a look at different risk factors for osteoporosis. I'm sorry to break it to you, but women are at higher risk as lowered estrogen after menopause in women increases the risk of osteoporosis. Getting enough calcium is also critical because if you don't, your body will pull calcium from your bones for all the other functions it's needed for, such as muscle contraction. This can result in negative calcium balance, which is not good for bone health. Vitamin D is also critical for the absorption of calcium. Some individuals may need higher doses than recommended due to issues with poor absorption. Another nutrient that's rarely in the spotlight is vitamin K2, which is required to activate osteocalcin, a protein that draws calcium into the bones. It's naturally found in unpasteurized cheeses, liver, egg yolks, and natto, a Japanese delicacy. Nutrition aside, exercise is also critical, specifically resistance training, as it helps build muscle strength and slows the rate of bone loss. Long-term use of certain medications can also increase bone loss and as a result, increase the risk of bone fractures. As you can see, prevention is critical. Osteoporosis is a disease that slowly, quietly weakens bones, often going undiagnosed until it's too late. In my next video, I will share my thoughts on calcium supplementation.